I'm going to take a little look at this today. It's a flight Centurion gold top. So Flight have very kindly lent me this just to do a review. Um, I didn't even know this was coming, to be honest. It came uh, in a parcel which included a couple of other instruments. You've already seen the Flight JB and there is another bass as well, the dubs. But this, one of their rock series, a solid body electric ukulele with steel strings. So Flight have actually got a number of ukuleles now in their rock series. This one is a very, very striking one. So I'll run through the specs and the features, talk about the price, then I'll give you some sound demos. What a gorgeous looking ukulele. It's a single cut body modelled on the uh, Gibson Les Paul. But wow, the finish on this, honestly, it makes it a stunning looking instrument it's a tenor scale so first of all the body itself are uh, they calling it a vintage gold mahogany why well the actual body is solid mahogany so if i go like that for a minute all right you can see there it's a really really nice uh, piece of wood on the back and i don't know if you're going to be able to see that in its full glory but honestly it's like a metallic-y finish to it and of course it's got quite a curved front to the body as well price uh 315 euro on the flight website southern ukulele store have been selling it for about 249 250 pounds uh it has been available in the us i know a lower city ukes they've been selling it at 300 and $69. So a very reasonably priced solid body ukulele. The back, solid mahogany. The neck is solid mahogany as well. And this isn't a bolt on. Uh, this is a set neck. In other words, it's got a joint in there. All right. But it makes it a gorgeous, gorgeous looking ukulele. Three piece neck and if I turn it round the other side that is just as gorgeous as well with the block inlays they describe it as a mixed ebony fretboard and a really really nice cream binding going down the edges and apart from the front markers it's also got side markers it's got a bone nut nut width is 35 millimeter uh, 19 frets 14 to the body um, and as I said with this binding as well it makes the neck look and feel really nice. Other things I should mention it has the zero fret. Flight love putting these on and they do help with the intonation. With this fixed tail bridge that means you can adjust both the height of the strings the action and the intonation and it's a string through. In other words, when you go to restring it, you can see there the strings actually come right the way through the body. Talking of strings, it's got a low G. They come with low Gs fitted. Uh, the string gauges is 0 0.010, 0 0.013, 0 0.017 and 0 0.026. And if you've got to change the strings on these, you can just use regular uh, guitar strings and you just to use the top four they fit on here brilliantly the electronics it's got two humbuckers or the hh configuration it's got a three-way toggle switch on there uh, so you can actually select either pickup or both of them and then four controls so it's two volume and two tone Looking at the top, it's got this gorgeous black veneer uh, headstock with a flight logo on it. And it has also got closed gear tuners. As with all their rock series, it comes with two strap buttons and it does come uh, with a flight um, padded gig bag. Like all the rock series, though, it's the only thing I've got to really complain about. I do wish flight would put um rucksack straps or shoulder straps on it but you know it comes with a case which is great with a nice big pocket for your accessories on the front 
So uh, one more nice little look at that body. If I go like that, you can just see the gold glimmering in the light. It really is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking ukulele. A couple of little sound demos now. Um, I do have my pedal board down there. This is going to be a completely clean signal to start with though. Um, and just to give you an idea, my Hughes and Kettner uh, Spirit of Vintage, my little uh, guitar head amp, does have a little bit of a hiss in it, okay? So that's not the instrument, that is my amp. Oh, and I'm going through my bare-faced 112 cabinet. <laughs> I am not a guitarist, um, so I am not a brilliant player of these. I'm getting better, all right, um, but I still want to show you what these sound like um, and give you the different specs and things because at the end of the day, these are a ukulele, they're not a guitar. So that's a completely clean signal. Right, let's just go through some of the configurations a minute. So the way this works is if the toggle is up, you are on the neck pickup, which is, I believe, these two controls. There's your volume and there's your tone for that. So see, that doesn't actually make any difference because that is the bridge pickup. And then, so that's just this. Tone completely down. Tone completely up, okay? If I go to the middle setting on the toggle, that now should be both of the pickups at the same time. So I'm going to just go... Both pickups tone up, so more trebly. And both tone controls down. Let's move to the uh, bridge pickup. So that's this control. So I can turn these up or down. That doesn't make any difference. So just back to the middle, so it's both pickups on about half of the tone. So that's a clean signal. I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb and maybe a little bit of EQ. Because of course, this is what these are made for. They're just like electric guitars and adding different effects or EQs, anything like that is gonna make a huge difference on these. So let's try it with a little bit of auto wah. Drive. This time I put a little bit of delay on as well and we've still got our reverb. 
And let's have a go with a little bit more distortion, crunch distortion this time. <laughs> distorting nicely for the audio and not ruining it all. Light Centurion Gold Top. As I said at the beginning, very kindly lent to me by um, Flight. It is going back. I cannot justify keeping any more electric ukuleles. I've already got about four or five, I think, and I'm not like an electric ukulele player. I am intending to do a comparison with this and the Reza LP before it goes back, but thank you ever so much flight uh, for lending me this so I can show you guys I have thoroughly enjoyed playing this. I've got to admit my fingers I'm so used to playing bass at the minute that I am struggling a little bit with the very thin gauges uh, On these steel strings, but wow what an absolutely gorgeous ukulele not just to look at but to play as well so, £249 in this country, in the UK, €315 Euro on the flight website and about £360-odd uh, in the US. Again, I know it is a little bit hit and miss at the minute, but flight are doing their best to get all of their instruments distributed around the world. Because I do, I genuinely believe they are such good value instruments and they're so well designed as well. They really are a fantastic company and they're so innovative at the minute and coming out with all these new ideas for instruments just so that we all have to keep getting more. I do have a Patreon page, so if you'd like to support me here on Ukulele Wales, or in fact on my Ukuleleans channel, I'll pop a link in the description below for that. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free, leave them below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.